The Spurs fans could be at Wembley Stadium for the League Cup final against Manchester City. Jose Mourinho's contract details. Spurs are eyeing an Aston Villa defender for a summer move. Spurs are the ninth biggest club in Europe considering revenue. But we do have the biggest debt out of all of the European clubs. A former midfielder has said that Jose Mourinho has sucked the life out of too many Tottenham Hotspur players and could Julian Nagelsmann be the next Tottenham Hotspur manager? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. But before I get started, if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter because this week I'll be giving away this signed Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start today's video by talking about the weekend's results in the Premier League. Eight games took place, four on Saturday and four on Sunday. The results from Saturday, Leicester City 3, Liverpool 1, Crystal Palace 0, Burnley 3, Man City 3, Spurs 0, Brighton 0, Aston Villa 0. And Sunday's results, Southampton 1, Wolves 2, West Brom 1, Manchester United 1, Arsenal 4, Leeds 2 and Everton 0, Fulham 2. Um, two games will take place later on today in the Premier League. West Ham will take on Sheffield United and Chelsea will take on Newcastle. Tottenham are currently ninth in the Premier League. We have played 23, we have won 10, drawn 6 and lost 7, have a goal difference of plus 11. We have 36 points. Currently, we are four points away from Liverpool um, who are in the top four and we do have a game in hand. Whilst making this video, a report has just been published by the Times newspaper and the heading reads, plan to bring back fans for FA Cup and Carabao Cup finals. Of course, Tottenham are in the Carabao Cup final to be played at the end of April against Manchester City at Wembley Stadium. Now, um, the report then goes on to say the FA Cup and Carabao Cup finals are being lined up as test events for the return of supporters before major sporting events this summer. It then states it is understood that the government is keen to explore ways of having socially distanced spectators for the big events, starting with the European Championship Tournament and including Wimbledon Tennis, the British Grand Prix, the Open and possibly some top race meetings and English cricket matches. Uh, the, the confidence over spectators returning follows the successful launch of the vaccination programme in which 15 people have received their first jab against COVID-19. Lots of media outlets covering this story today. This one is from the Daily Mirror. The heading reads, Jose Mourinho contract details shed new light on potential Tottenham sacking. Not only has any title challenge crumbled away, Tottenham are not certainties in a top four race that is still wide open, which has piled the pressure on Jose Mourinho. It then says Daniel Levy is in no hurry to axe Jose Mourinho with the Tottenham chief deciding not to insert a break clause when he hired the Portuguese manager. Tottenham's 3-0 defeat by Manchester City over the weekend was a fourth loss in five Premier League games during which Tottenham have also been knocked out of the FA Cup by Everton. Also covering this story today is The Athletic and according to them, the club will not rush into any decision over Jose Mourinho's future despite Tottenham's struggling form. It states here, it is also being claimed that the contract he signed back in November 2019 when he was hired as Maurizio Pochettino's replacement does not include a break clause. The report from the Daily Mirror then says, indeed, Jose Mourinho is contracted to the club until the summer of 2023 and would be entitled to a significant payout should the club opt to sack him. Therefore, while the manager will need to oversee a turnaround in form quickly, it is understood that Spurs supremo Daniel Levy is willing to back the experienced boss. 
A report has been published on the Stadium DB website and they are stating that Spurs are in serious debt over stadium construction. According to the latest financial analysis, Tottenham Hotspur has more debt than any other European club. The vast majority of that figure is due to the construction of their new stadium, however. This report states that two European clubs have debts of more than £1 billion. Unfortunately for the club's chairman, Daniel Levy, Spurs are ranked on top. Finance expert Kieran Maguire indicates that Tottenham's total debt comes out at around £1.177 billion, equal to €1.34 billion. Euros. Second are Barcelona, who have debts of £1.03 billion. They are followed by Atletico Madrid, Manchester United and Inter Milan. Now, last year, um, in a statement announcing the last year's financial results, Daniel Levy said, we are currently in the midst of one of the most challenging times ever experienced. This report then goes into financial details and it says that Tottenham's gross debt totals £831 million with £140 million owed in transfer debt, £96 million in tax debt, £9 million in trade creditors and £102 million in other creditors. All equals a total of £1.177 billion. Although the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is one of the most impressive in the world, much of that number is a result of long-term borrowing linked to the 62,303 seater stadium. The club announced losses of £63.9 million for the year ending 30th of June 2020. Last year, Spurs took out a Bank of England programme from which they drew a low interest short term £175 million loan. Um, Daniel Levy then went on to say the impact of the pandemic on our revenue is material and could not have come at a worse time having just completed a £1.2 billion stadium build which is financed by club resources and long term debt. Lastly, this report says that according to the 24th edition of the Deloitte Football Money League, Spurs are the ninth biggest club in Europe considering revenues. £390.9 million of revenue in 2020 is a figure that saw a 15% year-on-year reduction due to the coronavirus pandemic. Despite the impact of the pandemic, match day and commercial revenue grew 16% and 20% respectively. Deloitte also estimated that this year's Money League clubs, top 20, will have missed out on over €2 billion Euros in revenue by the end of this season. Former Premier League striker Tony Cascarino has been talking to the Times newspaper and he is stating and he is backing Arsenal to finish above Spurs at the end of the season in the Premier League. He said there is so much to admire about the team Mikel Arteta is building at Arsenal. Results are gradually improving. A style is emerging and young players such as Smith Rowe and Saka are being given a real chance to impose themselves on matches. Cascarino then went on to say Arsenal stuck with their man, believed in his project and looked aside on the up. Contrast this with Tottenham Hotspur who looked devoid of both creativity and a plan B when the going gets tough. Spurs are now only two points above their North London rivals and although they have a game in hand, I would not be surprised if Arsenal finish ahead of them this season. Arteta's team are going places. It will be fascinating to see who comes out on top when the sides meet next month. Earlier today, former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Jamie O'Hara was talking on TalkSport all about Tottenham's situation at the moment. He said, I actually feel a little bit sorry for Jose Mourinho because the players are performing so poorly. When I look at Hugo Lloris, Davinson Sanchez, Eric Lamella and Lucas Moura, they look so average and so bad. They're making mistakes. In a way, there is only so much a manager can do. When the players go out on the pitch, it is up to them to produce and they're not doing it at all. Jamie O'Hara then went on to criticise Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho and said, this is my issue with Mourinho. As the manager, it is your job to get the best out of players you've got, whether they're your players or not. It is your job to get the best out of them. And I feel he sucked the life out of too many of them already. You look at Gareth Bale and Deli Alley, he has cast them aside and hardly played them. Deli Alley wasn't even in the squad and now all of a sudden he's putting him in and expecting him to make the difference. O'Hara then went on to say players, especially modern day players, are going to go, go away mate, you've bombed me off for two months and now you're expecting me to save the season. It doesn't work like that. Um, they look like a team with a severe lack of confidence right now. They look like they haven't really got an identity of how they want to play. 
He then went on to say at the start of the season, watching Spurs, everyone was talking about how it wasn't great football, but they were getting results. They were resolute at the back, keeping clean sheets, bodies on the line. Even Harry Kane was defending in the box. And all right, it wasn't pleasing on the eye, but the results were there. Now it's the complete other way. All of a sudden, we're trying to attack again, but we're not defending well. We're leaking goals at the back. I just don't know where we are as a team and what we're trying to achieve. Top four has gone for Spurs, I think. Lots of media outlets have covered this story today. This one is from the Daily Mirror and it states that Julian Nagelsmann has admirers at Tottenham Hotspur as pressure grows on Jose Mourinho. The German manager has impressed at RB Leipzig and Hoffenheim and he's being tipped for a move to the Premier League in the near future. This report states that RB Leipzig manager Julian Nagelsmann reportedly has a number of admirers at Tottenham as he continues to impress in both the Bundesliga and the Champions League. The 33-year-old took his first job at Hoffenheim back in 2016, becoming the youngest manager in Bundesliga history. After saving Hoffenheim from relegation, he guided them to European qualification before joining Leipzig in 2019. Last season, Julian Nagelsmann took the team to the semi-finals of the Champions League, beating Tottenham Hotspur along the way. Um, he will be looking to repeat that trick when Leipzig take on struggling Liverpool in the last 16, with the first leg taking place on Tuesday. Uh, according to The Athletic, Spurs are watching him closely amid Jose Mourinho's latest struggles. Lastly, uh, the report from the Daily Mirror then says there is currently no indication that Jose Mourinho is under any immediate danger, despite Tottenham's woeful recent form, with chairman Daniel Levy known to be willing to give the Portuguese coach time to turn it around. But if things continue to get worse, it may be uh, only a matter of time before they consider making an approach for Julian Nagelsmann, whose contract ends at Leipzig in 2023. A report out today from The Athletic and now stating that Aston Villa defender Esri Konsa is on the radar of Premier League rivals Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur ahead of the summer transfer window. Now, um, Konsa currently plays at Aston Villa. He signed for them from Brentford back in 2019. He has made 43 appearances for them so far, scoring three times. Also capped at under 20 and under 21 level. Uh, six foot high, central defender, 23 years old. So as I said at the start of the video, today is the 15th of February, 10 years ago today on the 15th of February 2011. That assist from Aaron Lennon at the San Siro Stadium passes it along to Peter Crouch who put it in the net. What a night. Can you believe that that moment was 10 years ago today? Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Also put your score predictions in the comment section below as well for the Wolfsburger Europa League game this Thursday. And of course, Tottenham's next Premier League game away to West Ham this Sunday coming. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.